Now, from your hyperlocal weather source, this is your Norcast Weather Update. Brought to you by The Kitchen Shop at EHT, your choice for full-service kitchen remodeling, offering all wood, semi-custom cabinets comparable to big box store prices. Our in-house installers will have your job completed in as little as two weeks. Visit us online at thekitchenshop.net. We're continuing to keep a close eye on the risk of seeing strong to severe thunderstorms. As Nick updated you this morning, the Storm Prediction Center has increased the risk to a level 2 out of 5 of severe weather for the entire area. And that does include a small possibility of seeing a few isolated tornadoes. Now, the majority of the energy will be robbed by storms up to the north. But these storms back down to the south are being fed by the heat and humidity that we are seeing this afternoon. But the highest threat or severe weather is going to be the potential for strong gusty winds. You notice we have a 10% chance of seeing at least a 60 mile per hour wind gust within a 25 mile point. So the heat and humidity is definitely contributing to these storms. A lot of us seeing upper 80s and low 90s, 89 Violent and Mays Landing, 91 Hamilton, Glassboro, 95 up in Media, 94 Marlton. And as the sea breeze does start to kick in, we are seeing some cooler temperatures along the shoreline but the dew points are in the low 70s so it is really soupy outside if my map will switch over here here we go here's the dew point 70 in glassboro 71 hamilton and violin 72 mays landing and fortescue and even 72 down in courthouse and the cape may but all this is going to come together and give us the threat of seeing those severe thunderstorms later this afternoon we are definitely primed for the severe weather now we just have to wait for that front to continue to move into the area. Now, as that front continues to approach the area, we are gonna to continue to see clouds build. Then you notice some showers are just off to our west as we head towards about four o'clock. Now, we could see a couple of isolated thunderstorms at this point, but I believe the strongest of storms will remain off to the west by four o'clock. But you notice up to the north, strong storms are still taking place up there. So that's gonna rob the majority of the energy for our storms today. But as we head into this evening, you notice by about seven, eight, nine o'clock, this line of showers and thunderstorms is going to move in and this is going to be our main event. So we are watching that threat for gusty winds and a couple of isolated tornadoes as this line of showers and thunderstorms does move through. Now we get a break as we head into the overnight hours by about one, two o'clock, but then it does look like we will get a couple more showers and thunderstorms just before daybreak. You notice by about four o'clock, some more showers and thunderstorms do start to push through. Then by about seven o'clock, as we are waking up for work, some showers, thunderstorms are possible, but I believe the majority of it will have pushed off of the coast at this point. Then as we are heading off to work, we will start to clear off and some more clouds will start to build as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Partly cloudy, cooler temperatures as that front has cleared by heading into tomorrow. So I believe tomorrow is going to be okay. But non-thunderstorm wind gusts today as that front continues to push in, they're really going to be cranking. You notice by 5 o'clock as that front is starting to push in, we are seeing gusts up to 40 miles an hour along the coastline and on the mainland 20 to 25 is a good average for the wind gust so it is going to be breezy out there so continue to keep a close eye on that and one more thing excessive heat warning is still in effect through this afternoon as heat indices could get up between 105 to 110 degrees but a little bit cooler down closer to the shoreline as a sea breeze is starting to kick in and didn't want the map to move there, but you get the point, excessive heat warning and a heat advisory is in effect. But looking over the next couple of days, we are gonna see partly cloudy skies tomorrow as that front continues to clear out. Then clouds will start to move out as well, heading into Tuesday and Wednesday, and it is gonna get hot one more time. Temperatures in the upper 90s by Wednesday, and then some showers and thunderstorms will move through overnight Wednesday and early morning Thursday, but I believe Thursday afternoon is looking okay, partly cloudy skies. Then we will clear out and cool off as we head into next weekend, then some more opportunities of showers and storms do return heading into next weekend. I will continue to keep you updated on the severe weather potential this afternoon, so stay tuned. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.